Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. This is one of my favorite topics because there are so many ways to do it and we are going to cover another way to generate support in Kira in one of the later videos in this playlist but for right now we are talking about the support section and the generate support option right here. Once I click that option I will get a couple other options that pop up eventually and here you see here they are. now. You'll notice a support pattern. This is similar option-wise to the infill pattern, only there are fewer of them. There are still quite a few, and they are adding more all the time. But basically changing this changes the pattern of the support itself as it's built up to the model. Now, none of this really means anything in most prints. Uh, you want to go with lines because they or grids because they are easiest to remove. The zigzag is pretty easy as well but different patterns will have different interfaces with the model and while you can change the support density as well as the infill density you can also change the support z distance and what this is going to do is change the distance from the top and bottom of the support structure to the print basically it will create a skin between the support and the print to reduce artifacts left on the actual print surface by the contacts with the support there are also other settings here con connect support zigzags and this is going to increase the strength of zigzag support structure and it's only available while zigzag is selected you can see as you click different supports it changes to a different option so here it says connect support lines instead um, so things are changing constantly depending on what other settings you have turned on and off so uh, you do need to kind of keep an eye on that sometimes but usually they work pretty well together and it's not really a problem now this here support roof is going to be a dense slab of material it generates between the top of the support and the model and creates a skin between the model and support and what this means is again it's easier to remove from the model because it doesn't have those contact points the same with the enable support floor it doesn't have the contact points it is a smooth surface printed against a smooth surface so there is a very minor crack through it basically that is engineered to be there and they separate smoothly without any problems uh, there are a ton of support options you can change the support density for the roof and the floor as well as the thickness for the roof and the floor independently of each other and all of the other settings and there is just a ton of stuff to play with in here for the most part though all you need to know is this thing right here this is your overhang angle there are overhang tests you can print for your specific printer and depending on what filament you're using and whether or not it works well with a fan you can get these pretty steep i know my tivo tarantula pro will print an angle up to about a 75 degree without needing support my ender 3 on the other hand i leave it 60 because it needs support around 58 degrees so that's something that you'll have to find that is printer specific but it can also be dependent on the filament some filaments have overhangs better with the fan, some without the fan. So that's where all of these settings begin to come together and where you really need to know at least the minimum of each setting in each section. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.